Welcome to Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So we are here. Welcome to Coco K. So we arrived this morning uh, a little bit earlier. Nobody's going ashore yet, but the staff. Uh, they do already have the hot air balloon into the sky. Uh, none of the water slides are running yet. But we do have the afternoon um, water park pass. So we're going to go on all those slides and go jump in the wave pool and have a whole lot of fun. So we. Uh, we're gonna go get ready and go ashore. We're gonna highlight all the restaurants and food options you have. Let's take a look at all the beaches, give you highlights of those as well. And once we do that, uh, you'll know how to have your perfect day at Coco Cay as well. The first thing you'll notice about Royal Caribbean's $250 million transformation of Coco Cay is the newly built cruise pier. It is able to accommodate multiple ships, including Oasis-class ships, which are currently the largest in Royal Caribbean's fleet. They have installed colorful shade sails to decorate the pier and provide some relief from the hot Caribbean sun when walking to and from the ship. They also have frequent small trams running between the ship and the end of the pier to eliminate the walk if you want to take it easy. I would recommend waiting for a tram because the pier is actually a lot longer than you think. When you get to the end of the pier is where you decide whether to go left to relax on the chill side or right for the thrill side and the thrill water park. No pressure though since you have all day to explore the whole island. You can also decide to go straight instead and you will go by Captain Jill's Galleon, several of the food options on the island including Captain Jack's Grill and Skipper's Grill, the kids' water playground paradise, Splashaway Bay, and the Oasis Lagoon. Captain Jill's Galleon is a pirate ship run aground that provides a fun and refreshing adventure for all ages, with water cannons, slides, cargo nets, and a crow's nest for everyone to enjoy right when they get off the ship. Okay, so we kind of got off the boat and went to our immediate left and um, we had some little shops. We're on Chill Beach, by the way. We have some little shops. Looks like there's a couple of lockers. Probably where you rent your snorkeling equipment, etc. Looks like I see some people over there with snorkeling equipment. Got the beach. Many, 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 many chairs. We got here around 10 o'clock this morning and the chairs were almost all available so one thing we've already seen is that you actually have to grab your towels prior to leaving the ship it's kind of interesting um so don't get caught without your towels when you get here <laughs> you'll have to go all the way back so this is where you want to go if you want that beach feel plenty of lounge chairs all right so here we are enjoying the, one of the little half moon lagoons that they have on uh, Coco Cay's east side. As you can see, lots of people chilling out. Enjoying uh, a beautiful day, perfect day here. Um, the water is a little bit cool. Uh, it's very refreshing. Uh, I'm actually enjoying it. Uh, lots of people snorkeling here. 
So there's the snorkel shack right there um, where you would rent snorkel equipment. And uh, they do make you wear the yellow uh, like snorkel vests here. The big sign that says, uh, says that they are required. So if you do bring your own snorkel equipment, which we did, uh, purchase a uh, yellow snorkel vest. We have those linked on our website uh, for Amazon. And uh, I'll also put a link down in the description so that you can get it. It's way cheaper to bring your own snorkel gear for sure than to rent it here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it is hot. It's supposed to be about 90 to get today. Um, and uh, like I said, it's early May, but uh, water's, water's nice. As you can see, they do have, they have lifeguards out here and they have these floating dive platforms that you can, uh, you know, you can kind of swim out to, dive off of. You know, one guy about to dive up over there. But you can go out there and rest if you're still doing it. You can know, so go out really far where that guy is. Uh, jet ski with the red umbrella. You, know, you can go up and, uh, and take a break from either swimming or snorkeling. So, yeah, a lot of fun here. Uh, it's a beautiful day. So here on Chill Beach, there's also the first aid station in case anybody gets hurt. There was actually a lady. Looked like probably an, someone that actually lives on the island asking us if we wanted our hair braided or anything like that. So there's that stuff too. Little shopping areas. It's like some floats. Probably for rental. So we got kayak rentals as well. And the cabanas. Okay, so looks like so we are at the Cab Cabana Cove. Cabanas. Um, and I was just speaking with the concierge. She was telling me that what's included for the price. Um, which I'm sure fluctuates by the season or maybe even just less often than that um, is uh, Is your towels your concierge service they get chairs and loungers and a private beach um, Someone comes to take their orders their drink orders, so they're kind of waited on um, There are 17 total cabanas and they're on a rental basis and I'm not sure how fast they sell out. I'm sure that depends on the season as well. Kind of come in here and you check in. They get this reserved area and that's it. Scattered around Chill Beach are several shopping areas offering Coco Cay branded items as well as local crafts from straw market style shops. There are also several beach wheelchairs freely available to those who need to use them to enjoy the beach. Also, there are two separate areas with numerous hammocks to enjoy a lazy day in shade. All right, so our tickets are now active and we're ready to head over to the thrill side to enjoy the thrill water park and all of the slides, the wave pool, the adventure pool, and everything else that it has to offer. The flagship attraction of the thrill water park is Daredevil's Tower with five distinct slides to enjoy. All right, we're walking up the, uh, the stairs for the Manta Racers. We're gonna jump on them. And uh, see how this is. First water slide on the water tour. Don't cheat. Don't be jumping the gun. Okay, make sure those arms and legs. Let me see you do it. You got your legs, Trump? On three, two, one, and go. Let's see you did. Make sure and check out episode two of our Perfect Day of Coco Cay vlog for a full review of the Thrill Water Park, including first person views of all the slides. All right, so we had a little lunch. Uh, got a snack from the Snack Shack, chicken sandwich and fries. It's pretty good, actually, probably better than actually put on the ship, which is kind of fun. Now we're ready to cool down and we're gonna go check out the wave pool. Let's go.
Well, that's pretty cool. They've actually set this the wave pool up such that it makes a breaking wave. It's kind of cool. So we are here in the wave pool, enjoying the time. The water is beautiful. It is so nice. What, it's warmer than the, uh, the lagoon over on the other side. I hope we're not making y'all see sick. Because <laughs> literally we're floating in the waves. Um, speaking of floating though, I have to say, watching this, it's pretty windy today. Oh my God. <laughs> watching that balloon, uh, a tethered hot air balloon, does not do well do in high winds because it leans because it's tethered. A normal hot air balloon will just stay and float in the wind. But this one, it leans and since it's on a tether, it's like tied. So that platform is tilting a fair amount. If you watch it behind us, I'll try to hold the video flat for you guys. But. Yeah, it was a little bit worse earlier. But that may be your thing. It's moving. If you, yeah. like, if you like the, like the pirate ship with the carnival, <laughs> with those things, you might like the balloon doing this. <laughs> but definitely uh, not for the faint of heart or people that are could get seasick. That'll make it happen. So uh, we've done some slides. We've done the wave pool. Uh, really a, uh, a lot of fun. Well worth um, the money we spent. We got a discount on it because uh, we booked before the cruise, which was important. And uh, one thing we did find out that I talked to one of the ladies that was um, concierge. Yeah, no, not the concierge. The lady at the ticket, like the ticket uh, booth or whatever, when you walk in. And she said if you do book one of the water park cabanas, it's actually for up to six people and you get the water park admission included so if you got six people coming uh and you're gonna all book a uh a water park pass for the full day and pay the full day you might want to look into just getting a cabana because you might it's actually harder. save money and it's full so, service it's like vip yeah you get the cabana concierge and everything Beautiful. so yeah so keep that in mind what about you? What, what would you guys do for your first thing uh, when you get to the water park? Leave it in the comments below. So there are several circuits of zip lines going all through the island, totaling about 1,300 linear feet of zip line. They start at the beginning of the Pearl Water Park and end over on Chill Island. Several of the zipline circuits go over water, including the Thrill Park Wave Pool and the Cove Lagoon where you zip right over the fountain for the final stretch of the zipline. So we're here at the Chill Grill and the food is actually included at the cost of your cruise. Today they're serving tacos. I'm not sure if this is an everyday thing, but today it's tacos. And it looks really good. These are sandwiches. There's a whole bunch of sandwich options here. Uh, really something for everyone who would want something pretty much like a hot sandwich is depressed um, they also have some salads uh, kind of, you know cold salad type thing like a, like a side dish type thing that would go with their sandwich or burgers or hot dogs a lot of fruit available um, fresh fruit cut up for you to enjoy pineapple onion, cantaloupe, watermelon, mango all kind of good 
stuff. So there's also some desserts as well, brownies and cookies. Uh, the brownies look really good. They've got like the caramel sauce on top of them. And this, the food is the same at both Chill Grill and Skipper's Grill. And both of them do have several soft serve ice cream machines. There's also uh, chicken, burgers, hot dogs, corn on the cob. Uh, everything really that you would have at a normal barbecue. And it comes with all of the, the toppings that you would get. Tomatoes, lettuce, uh, onions, mushrooms, anything like that you would want to put on your burger or your hot dog. There's also tacos available. Uh, these were actually really, really good. They have chicken, beef, uh, pork, uh, as well as some uh, Mexican rice available. Uh, and they are making actually their tortillas. The flour tortilla is fresh. They have their own tortilla press um, and they were really, really good. So there's a salsa bar where you have all the fixings for the tacos and beverages with water and um, some juices as well. All right, so right next to Skipper's Grill is Splash Away Bay. It's really a kid's water park paradise. There's buckets of water dumping from above. Uh, geysers coming out from the floor. They have water cannons and water slides that slide down into a pool. Uh, there's lifeguards here to keep them safe so that you don't have to worry about them. They can kind of have a free for all as you relax over in some ironic chair that you're in and watch from a distance. They do have a maximum height here, so it's really only for kids to play on, but ultimately they can enjoy it and have a whole lot of fun and especially wait for the buckets to dump down on them. There's two buckets. How many gallons of water they spill, but as you can see, it, uh, it dumps a lot of water and sprays everywhere. I think fun's being had by all here today at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. One of the highlights of the new Perfect Day at Coco Cay is the Oasis Lagoon, the largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean, which has three distinct coves one, a quiet and relaxed area, one, a exciting sum up bar with loud music and drinks and one a zero entry beach with spray up geysers for kids and adults to enjoy there are also many lounge chairs to enjoy around the edge of the pool to chill out and cool off all right we are now in the oasis lagoon it's rocking uh we're chilling out <laughs> got the swim up bar over there bridge that goes over the pool. The pool goes all the way from over there, all the way over there, over there. So it's a pretty good sized pool. It, uh, it's kind of neat because like the steps and the walk-in areas have like a uh, like a rubberized or almost like a cushy. It's like, yeah, it's like a spongy kind of rubber. It's like padded. Yeah, padded. Yeah. And uh, so it's kind of cool walking in. It's really kind of soft. And then uh, the rest of the pool is actually like a vinyl liner. So it's super smooth, real easy on your feet. Um, yeah, it's like concrete like our pool is at home, actually. Yeah. yeah. And especially after walking on the pavers the whole time. It's um, nice on your feet. <laughs> it's pretty rough on your feet. So I think we're going to go get a drink. You want to go get yeah. a drink? All right. We didn't get a drink. Let's go get a drink. Open. Yeah. This is actually the other side of Chill Beach. Uh, South Beach is actually just around the corner. But here, 
there are several beach chairs and umbrellas, as well as another snack shack with pretty much all the same food, the tables, to sit down and enjoy the meal. There's also two ping pong tables for you to play ping pong on the beach, several bean bags to chill out with, volleyball court, uh, cornhole, lots of things to do here on the other uh, area of Chill Beach. And as you can see, there are several open beach chairs, not really a whole lot of people here, pretty quiet. So if you're looking for more of a chill, quiet beach option, definitely uh, South Beach is, uh, is really chill. The Chill Beach over by the Half Moon Bays, um, that's pretty quiet as well. But over here, I mean, like the water, super calm, super shallow. Um, you can hear a little bit of the music, but what is Half Moon Bay? You there's two. Yeah, there's two Half Moon. There's there's two kind of coves that are surrounded by rocks over on the east side of the island, and they call those Half Moon Bay. Um, so, yeah, not to be confused with Half Moon K, which is Carnival's private island, or Half Moon Bay, California, where the famed maverick surf spot is but uh that's pretty chill over there so over here you actually have there's a uh a bar area and then as you can see we're coming around the corner towards the uh swim up bar but it looks like it may be closed already because i don't see anyone out there manning it. It doesn't have a bartender. So we may have we may have missed the swim up bar, babe. That's alright. There's enough bars around where we can find something to drink. Well ultimately, yeah, like I said, it does look like the floating bar is no longer manned or womaned, depending on the gender of the bartender. But uh, we're gonna keep going around South Beach area and show you some of that we're coming up to some of the cabanas and uh it's very quiet very serene very nice water as you can see and i'm sure it would be very enjoyable to be out there at the floating bar and relaxing with a cold drink also as you can see it is very scarce most every lounge chair is available so and they do run trams out here so if you don't want to walk it's not really a far walk it is on the other side of the island from the ship but they do run trams back and forth out here so that uh, you can easily make it over here and easily make it back to the ship cabanas here that are on South Beach. Super secluded, um, have their own private lifeguard, and it's really, really nice. Um, quiet, secluded, uh, really a good option. I'm not sure how much they are, but I'll, uh, I'll research it and I'll put it down on the bottom here for you. And uh, as far as like when it, what, how much it costs right now. But if you're looking for like a chill, relaxed time to have, and you don't want to be bothered by anybody, and it's real quiet, they have the, you know, there's a bar right next to them, it's a great option, so look into it. So 
Cabana Beds. I would All say right. that there's something for everybody here at Coco Cay. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've been here the whole day. Um, it's a pretty long port. We got here like at 8 a.m. and we don't leave until 6. And it's, uh, it's about 4.10 right now. But I mean, we've been busy the whole day going around doing stuff. Um, there's definitely something for everybody. And you don't have to spend money to do everything. Uh, there are a lot of things that you can spend extra on. We didn't do the zip line, um, but there are it, there are plenty of things to keep you busy while you are here on Cook Cook Bay without paying any extra. So keep that in mind. We uh, go to our website for all the latest updates for Cook Cook Bay as far as excursions. Uh, beach options, food options, everything that they have, and uh, you can you can get the update for Perfect Day Cook OK. So, really, we uh, we had a fun time here, and we hope that you visit Cook OK soon. So, it's a wrap. Yep. Cook OK is a wrap. Absolutely. Get out there and have fun ashore.